All right, guys, Good Boy 32 here. Check it out. We're sitting out here on the Freedom Table, and uh, <laughs> this is Optics Week. Yeah, I'm on vacation, so we're going to be doing a bunch of these box openings, and then eventually down the road, we'll, <laughs> ammo gets to be more affordable, uh, we'll take these out and run them through like hell. Uh, today, we'll be talking about the Hollow Sun. This is the HS510C uh, Circle Red Dot. Circle Dot. Red Dot Sight. Uh, story behind this, uh, my good friend uh, Pops Quest and I are going to be going down to Talladega to the uh, Marksman program, or whatever it is down there. They're going to be hosting the uh, Two Gun Nationals, and we're going to be shooting the Open PCC. And so what happened is I was trying to figure out what optic I'd like to run the best. Now, <laughs> I've seen these used on pistol caliber carbines by some people who are a lot better than me, but I elected to go with the uh, this guy right here, the Seymour Optic. These things are made in America, and uh, they have been around for a very long time. Now, we will do a review on this guy individually, but for today, we're going to go ahead and do a review on this. Now, and this is pretty cool. This is a reflex sight. I have done a video the other day on a reflex sight made by Sightmark. Sightmark makes a great product. This thing is the Mac Daddy. As far as reflex sights, it's a little bit larger. But in case you wanted me to compare it with something, here is the EXPS 3.0 or whatever the hell it's called. But this is the Mac Daddy uh, for mil spec, special operations, super duper, can I kill it kind of uh, red dot thing, circle red dot. We'll compare it in size. I'm actually going to uh, put them side by side so you can see. All right, so let's talk about the details on this thing. This is a 2 MOA dot with a 65 MOA circle, or you can make it just a dot. I'm not sure if you can make it just a circle, but I know that some people who run shotguns in an open class put these things on it because as long as whatever's in that dot or that circle, it will hit it. Okay, so the specs on this thing is a 2 MOA dot with a 65 MOA circle. Cool part about this is that it is, uh, I think it's a 2032 battery, but it also has the solar panel on it, which allows it to get 50,000 hours with just a dot and then 20,000 hours with a circle dot. 600 hours with this guy. Now, this has an automatic shutoff, it does not have a shake awake. So, it's got that going for it. Solar panel memory function for brightness setting, a 10. D, uh, oh, 10 levels of brightness with two night vision brightness settings under manual mode. A 1.41 detachable QD mount. Cool. Uh, battery tray, titanium frame, waterproof, and parallax free. Uh, I don't know what the rating is on the waterproof part of it, but it should say it. This guy right here, well, you know. <laughs> All right, so let's pull this thing out. The 510C. As you well know, I do not read user's manuals. Uh, what I want to do is check the intuitive uh, uh, abilities to go ahead and put this thing into action. Uh, how it works, uh, multiple reticle system. Yes, it does do a circle. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. And then I would like to know what the adjustment points are on it. IP67, which is uh, 36 inches, I believe, under water, one meter under water for 30 minutes. And then uh, that's it. Let's see here. You got your windage and elevation, zero settings. Here we go. The sight has been pre-zeroed, but some additional adjustments may be made. The elevation adjustment screw is on the top. Blah, blah, blah. All right, whatever. All right, so you got a cleaning cloth. Here's some of those crazy things that my dogs eat. Uh, an included CR2032 battery. We're going to go ahead and install that thing because I want to show you the dot. Where's my BJ weed knife? There it is. They have to make these things impossible. All right, so what do we got here in the box? We have a torque wrench here. We also have the little screwdriver adjustment tool for your sighting in. And here is a battery tray right here. Looks good. And in the box, what's in the box? There it is. Okay, that thing, I, I will tell you this, for what you get, <laughs> She's, and I hate this word, she's robust. I mean, I'm not talking about a cup of coffee here, but the damn thing's heavy. So let's see. In comparison, yeah, this is, I think, T61 aluminum with a uh, titanium shroud. Look at this. You're going to be surprised. 7.6 ounces. Man, it seems heavier than that. 11.6 ounces. But look at the size of that. There's, uh, in just comparison, let's go ahead and do that. 
you can see this comparison of the size of the windows are really close. Very close. Matter of fact, I almost think that the uh, Holosun is bigger. Now you can see it really well. All right, so here we go. We have uh, two methods of power. I was watching Will over there at the Daily Shooter. He did a video review on this thing about two or three years ago. And under uh, the light we have right now, uh, it is working with the uh, just the, what do you call it, the, the solar panel right there. And man, it is a clear dot. Now, here's the difference. Wait a minute, where did the damn thing go? Here's the difference. This is a hologram. So it's a little bit, and if you guys have ever seen the, uh, the reticle on an EOTech, it is a, just a tad bit on the fuzzy side. But on a pure reflex, reflex site, this thing is pretty active. Now let's see if we can go ahead and increase the uh, lighting on that. Yeah, and it's so funny because you cover it up a little bit and she goes away. All right, so let's do this real quickly. You have plus and negative signs over here. I'm betting if there's anything else, we're going to hold down the plus sign and it's going to do uh, one of those deals. It's probably an automatic. There's your brightness levels. Let's go ahead and hold one of them down. Let's see if we can change the reticle. Now it's just flashing. So let's do this. Let's go ahead and install the battery. That's probably what it's waiting for me to do in order to make those adjustments. I have no idea. So let's go ahead. I'm not going to bore you with the install on that. Stand by. All right, so once you pull the screws out, what you're going to do is take your little tool. You're going to insert that right there and pry that little tray out. Then we're going to take, and I don't know why, but they give you two trays, which is kind of cool. I guess in case you lose some parts and pieces, then you're going to take this battery, place it right there. We're going to go ahead and bring it in. All right, guys, I just wanted to show you that, well, I put it in upside down. So that's a good indication. If you see a flashing uh, reticle and you know you got your stuff in upside down, glad it didn't hurt anything, or I hope it didn't hurt anything. Yep, there we go. She's staying on now. <laughs> oh, yeah. And set these screws in place. Put the screws back into the uh, recessed holes. And go ahead and tighten her down. Yeah, now here's the thing. At <laughs> 50,000 hours, uh, this guy is going to last you a good long time. Now we do have a shake awake feature on this thing, so what will happen is I guess that after a certain period of time, it's going to go ahead and shut itself off, and then when you pick it up, it'll bring itself back on, which is really, really cool. I like that. So let's go ahead and bring it on down. Got some night vision on the way, so we can't wait to see what that does. Double tap it to turn it off, single tap it on the plus side to bring it back on. Let's see if we can go ahead and get it to change through the reticles. That's auto. Bring it up to my lights. It's getting real bright. Bring it down. It's getting real dim. So that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and bring, hit the negative button, see what happens there. There we go. Hold the negative button down. It goes into a single dot. Let me see if I can get you guys to see that. There you are. Then we're going to go ahead and hold the negative button down again. And again, this is one of those things. And then we go into just the uh, circle. So you guys can see that. I hope you can. I'm going to hold this thing down. Let's go ahead and bring it back to manual mode. There it is. It'll actually flash for you. So there we go. Manual mode. You can see how much brighter it is. And we will hold it down and bring it back to a circle dot. And I'm going to bring it up real bright. There it is. Circle dot. The idea behind these things, reflex sights, they project from the backside into a mirror kind of thing. And then you're, you're seeing that. Really, really cool stuff. Uh, adjustments up and down right here. Let's see if we can get those tactile clicks. Can you hear that? Same with the uh, right and left. Uh, I don't know what the MOA movement is on these things. I may have mentioned it before. But man, 
what an op and what a great looking optic and the whole thing about running the seymour was that i wanted something that was a little bit on the brighter side but the window on this thing is actually bigger than the seymour and it's just as clear um uh, hmm i might have to do something here now the cool thing also let's just not forget about this is you have a qd mount just like that Let's bring it over here and I'll show you. We'll put it into this upper and click it into place. Locks down into place and you are good to go. Now, this is probably not going to be, well, you know what, I wonder if it's a perfect code witness. Wouldn't it be cool? It is. That's really neat. Y'all can see that. Hold on. Nah. Anyway. Um. Yeah, so what are we looking at? Uh, Price-wise, I think these things run about $309, $310. I am glad. I wasn't going to get one of these things, but I, I just asked, do you have one in stock? And they said yes. And I said, if you don't mind if I test one out, that'd be really cool. And uh, i got to be honest with you, that's, that's pretty neat. I am digging that. Um, and again, it keeps going back into auto. Maybe if I hold that down. There we go. I like them bright and juicy. Oh, yeah. So that's it, guys. Uh, the Hawson 510C. This thing's bad as I'll get. I like to thank Will over there at the uh, Daily Shooter for putting together his review because a lot of times when I don't know or don't have time to do my own research or shooting, I'll uh, reach out to these other guys. But you can see the size comparison in these two. Uh, this is a lower one-third co-witness. This is an absolute co-witness. If I were to run this into a competition, I would probably go ahead and get a riser. I bought this with a riser into it, so what happens is you don't have to work to get down as deep into that uh, cheek well. But this thing's bad as to the bone. Yes, it is. All right, shake awake, uh, 50,000 hours, 20,000 hours on bright. With that being said, guys, uh, of course, this is probably uh, manufactured, made in China, but I'm not seeing anything on it that says made in China. And as most electronics these days are. Uh, with that being said, I always end them like this. God bless America, right? God bless us men, women in uniform, 24-7 for our freedoms. Freedom's not free. Talking about the men and women in uniform who are there to help us uh, with our constitutional rights. And, and, and re restrict federal government from screwing that up for us, right? Y'all be good. If you like the video, please uh, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already done so. We're going to go have some fun. Talk about fun in the sun. It's Good Boy 32. I'm out.